Yo, what is up guys and welcome to another Wild Rift guide. Today I'm going to be giving you guys the ultimate beginner's guide to the champion Syndra. And I have to say, this may be a pretty long video because there is a lot to discover with this champion. So Syndra is a champion with balls. Her abilities revolve around having balls around the map and shoving those balls in the faces of the enemies. Quite literally. I mean, take a look. You're shoving the balls into their faces. You can shove the balls even further into their faces, drop the balls, you can throw around existing balls. It's really all about balls with this champion. So let me teach you how to play with your balls. Um, first of all, and most importantly, is the passive. And for you to understand the passive, I'm going to go to level one, okay? And uh, let's read it. Conjures, a do oh wait, that's the ability. Um, every instance of ability damage dealt to an enemy champion grants one splinter of wrath, okay? And Every instance. So if you hit an ability, let's see, I'm level 1 right now. Boom! I get a stack. And for you to see where the stacks are, they're right here. You can see three stacks right now. If I hit this enemy, boom, four. If I hit multiple enemies, I'm going to hit three enemies here. It goes to seven. So if you hit multiple enemies, you're going to be getting multiple stacks. Okay, that's the first thing you need to know. Secondly, and this is actually very important, this part right here. If you hit an ability on an enemy champion, you're going to be restoring mana. This is huge. And this skills with level. This skills with level, guys. And right now it's 16. But if I actually level up further, it's going to go all the way to 50. 50, 55. It's going to go all the way to 55. Um, just to make sure. Yeah, there we go. So it goes all the way to 55. In the late game, you're never going to run out of mana. That's, that's basically what it says. So take a look at this thing. When I put a point in an ability... Take a look. If I put a point, boom, two more. Boom, two more stacks. Boom, two more stacks. Boom, 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 boom. Essentially, until you reach level 15, you are passively gaining 30 stacks, right? And it says it here as well. Syndra gains two splinters of wrath every time she levels an ability up to 120. Yeah, so up to 120 splinters can be collected. And you may be asking, what, what does this do? Does this give you bonus ability power? What the hell are these things? Like, is it like Vagar, like Senna? No, 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 and no. I said one extra no for no reason, but okay. What this does is it quite literally evolves the champion. It makes you a stronger champion. So it empowers a basic ability after collecting 40, 60, and 80 stacks. So let me just get 40 for you to see what you, what it means. A basic ability, boom, I'm at 38 stacks, boom, there we go, 40 stacks. And as you can see, I can choose an ability to evolve, a basic ability, not my ultimate. So I have 40 stacks right now, I can upgrade an ability. At 60 stacks, I can upgrade another one. At 80 stacks, I can upgrade another one. So let's read further. Um, and at 100 stacks, you can upgrade your ultimate. We're going to be talking about what these evolves are, are going to do. We're going to be talking about that, so don't worry. But there is one more upgrade. At 120 stacks, you gain 15% bonus AP. Now, this is the big one. When you reach this one, you're going to be demolishing the enemy. Because you can imagine having a Rabadon's death cap on top of this. That's going to be 45. How much does Rabadon give? I believe 35. That's going to be an additional 40, it gives 45, it's going to be an additional 60% AP that you're going to be getting. It is ridiculous, it is ridiculous how strong she's going to get, Syndra, when you reach that 120 stacks. That's it for the passive. Now let's talk about the abilities. First ability, very simple. Conjures, blah, 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 I don't really care what it says. You drop a ball on the ground. Actually, you spawn a ball on the ground. It does AoE damage, as you can see. It's not that hard to hit. Um, that's it. It spawns a ball and it does damage. And the spawning ball part is also quite important, I would say, because uh, you're going to be able to utilize this ball later on. So what happens when you evolve this ability? You can see, boom, I just evolved it. Very simply, you're going to be getting two balls. So instead of having one ball down there, you're going to be getting two balls. So I'm, I'm going to take away the zero cooldown. As you can see, when I throw down one ball, the second ball is already loading, you see? So like this is really good, obviously, because you can use many more balls like this. You can store up your balls and then use all of your balls at the same time. And you're going to be storing up new balls all the time, throwing them on the enemies. This is definitely going to be the first evolve that I recommend you to take. Because it's just going to be so good for laning. 
Like when you're playing in your lane, having two balls instead of one is going to be much better. Um, you can just bully a lot more. And if you hit it, you refund mana anyways. And even in a team fight, right? Like it's it's good. It's pretty good. In a team fight, it's not as good though. In a team fight, you're going to be... You're going to like the other ones a lot more. Talking about the other ones. So that that's simply what the first ability does. Small detail. Um, when you throw your balls on the ground, your balls remain there for six seconds. So... If I throw this ball here, it stays there for six seconds. Um, we're going to be talking about why this is important very, very soon. Second ability. You grab the nearest ball. You grab the ball. And you throw your ball at, the, at a certain place. Which can be the enemy's faces. I love that I'm saying this and that it's genuinely what's happening. Without like, This is actually what the ability is. You pick up a ball. You throw it in someone's face. Well, you throw it somewhere. Let me show you. So, you can throw a ball here. It picks up a nearby ball. And if I do this, boom. You see that? It picks up the ball. And it throws it at his face. Now, this ball's already here. So, it's going to throw it on his face again. You see? Boom. Actually, quite funny. It, it doesn't. Very funny. Let me, let me actually check this one out, because this is quite important. Okay, wait, wait. I, I need to, just to, to make sure I'm, I'm saying this correctly to you guys. Okay, okay. So even if the ball is right on top of the enemy, this counts as picking up the ball. So even though you're not actually picking up this ball, this counts as picking up the ball. It's really funny, because this counts as picking up the ball while you're not actually picking up the ball. Let me tell you why this is important. So it slows the enemy that you've thrown it at. But this part right here, if there's any, if there isn't any dark sphere sphere nearby, any balls, dark spheres are balls. If there aren't any balls nearby, Syndra generates one herself and hurls it at a target location. But then the damage of this ability is going to be reduced to eighty percent. So you can use this without without using your first ability or any other ability. Like you can initiate with it, but it will do less damage as you can see. So. You want to combo this with another ability, right? Like before you go in, you kind of want to use your first ability, throw it here, and then boom, you know what I mean? Like this is kind of, we're going to be talking about the combos, by the way, but this is kind of how you want to do it. You never really want to initiate a fight with that second ability. Now let's talk about the evolved second ability. And this is, this is a big one, guys. Transcendent, which means evolve. This ability deals an additional percentage true damage. Oh, baby. So let's evolve it. So I use this. Now take a look at this. Oh baby. Oh ba look at that. 161 true damage. Oh my baby. And it does AoE damage as well. AoE true damage. This is ridiculously strong late game. Ridiculously strong. And you can see I'm full built right now. 27% true damage in the late stages of the game. And this is going to get even higher. Because if you guys haven't forgotten... 15% bonus ability power when I reach 120 stacks, which I'm actually going to get real quick just to show you guys the difference that it makes. Now it does 29% true damage. I have 813 ability power. This is crazy. So um, that's what the ability does. It does more damage if you like, like this, it doesn't do a lot of damage. It still does a lot of damage, but not as much as throwing another ball on top of it like that. You see? Just like that. Boom, boom. It's funny because there is a range for it. So like this ball is right here. But if I use the ability here, it doesn't actually pick up that ball. You see that? But then here it does. Actually, I think it has to do with your range. It's cool. So if I have the ball within my range, it doesn't. So it's a little bit, you have to play around with it a little bit. It's, uh, it's a little bit scuffed. You have to figure out the range for it, as you can see. Um, if I do it like this. Actually, it is within your range. There we go. So that just confirmed it. As long as the ball that you want to throw is within your range, you're going to be able to throw it. So that's what it's all about. If the ball is without, outside of your range, you're going to throw another one. That's literally it. That's literally it. So as long as there is a ball within your range, you're going to be throwing it. Something important to note as well. Obviously, if the ball is close, you can immediately do it. Like it immediately explodes on the enemy. This one is even faster than the first ability. Because look, first ability takes some time. But this one, boom, you see that? Obviously, if you don't have a ball on the enemy, 
you have to throw it. And another thing that you have to that you have to note as well is if the ball is super far away, it will take a long time for it to jump on the enemies. So the main way to use this ability is going to be to use first ability or ult or whatever, and then boom, follow up with that second ability to instantly do damage, instant true damage as well. Now let's talk about the third ability. Um, projects a wave of a force in a cone. You can see this is a cone, like ice cream is a cone. You fart in their faces. So you not only throw balls in their faces, you also fart in their faces. As you can see, it pushes enemies. And um, wait, let me hit this guy. It pushes them all the way to this outer edge. So when you push them in this outer edge, as you can see, it just gives them a little poof. But if you fart right in his face, like pew, you are pushing him far. So it pushes them to this outer edge. Just for you to understand, very strong ability, pushes enemies all in a, in the same spot basically, um, can be combined with some AoE damage. Um, and so this does damage, right? Boom, you see that damage. But take a look at this. You see that? You can push balls into their faces. Yes, you can push ball. You can push infinite balls into their face. Boom, 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 and pew, pushing the balls into their faces, baby. You see that? And of course, pushing the balls into their faces is gonna do more damage. So yeah, this knocks back enemies. Dark spheres that are knocked back, the balls uh, stun and knock back enemies. So if you push a ball into their faces, so like like this, you're just gonna knock them back. But if I push a ball in his face. It also stuns the enemy, as you can see, which is, of course, very powerful. And if you look at the balls, you can actually see where they're moving. If you, sorry, if you, um, if you hit this, it doesn't actually matter in which direction you hit this. Take a look. It don't matter. It only matters where you're positioned around the ball. So don't be trying to aim this exactly. Try to calculate this with your, with your triangle. No. Just look at the arrow. I want to hit this dummy. It doesn't matter how I hit it. Boom, it's going to go on that dummy. That's all you have to pay attention to. So you can see the arrows. I just want to hit them. Boom, easy peasy hit. You see? So don't try to calculate exactly where you need to stand. That's all for nothing. Just pay attention to the arrows around the balls on the ground. So what happens if you evolve this ability? This is the last evolve I recommend. Oh, by the way. The way you want to upgrade the abilities, first you want to up take your first ability upgrade, second you you can actually take your third ability or second second, but the way you want to max it is you always want to max your first ability, then you want to max your second ability, and then lastly your third ability and always put a point in your ultimate. The way you want to evolve abilities is evolve first ability, evolve second ability, then of course evolve third ability, then naturally you're going to evolve your ultimate. So that's how you want to do it. So take a look at the range. When I evolve it, the range becomes huge. Look at this. This is crazy. The range is insane. So you can, of course, use this to do some damage, push away enemies. When, like if an enemy is chasing me, I can just sort of push him away when he's chasing me, especially if he's close by. But this is going to be especially good in a team fight, especially combined with your ultimate, which is what we're going to be getting at next. But like you have a lot of balls on the ground. It's a very strong ability to just push, you know, push the balls to them. And as you can see, the balls, the balls will get pushed very far, same as enemies, right? Like if you hit the ball all the way on the edge, it's not going to go very far. But if you hit the ball when you're here, it's going to shoot all the way, all the way. And it's actually going to go beyond the edge. That's the thing for the ball. So just so you know, you can't like push, put a ball here and expect this to hit an enemy. You see, like it stops right there. So now let's talk about the Eve or ultimate first of all manipulates the three dark spheres orbiting her so you can see throughout the whole game you're going to be having these these dark spheres orbiting you the only use for them is your ultimate um, manipulates the three dark spheres orbiting her plus plus up to four nearby ones okay up to four something i forgot to mention about the third ability by the way if you hit multiple balls on the enemy's faces they're going to be doing reduced damage um, um it's not gonna or am i wrong with that what the hell wait let me see Maybe it's a little bit glitched because to me it looks like it's doing reduced damage. But it sometimes see this is this, this is the stupid thing. I want to say this in this guide. Sometimes they don't mention things in the ability. 
and like you have to figure it out yourself which is why sometimes you know i may be a bit confused there's literally champ like garen for example if you look at if you don't believe me look at garen's ultimate it like when you upgrade it it doesn't say that it does more percentage hp on the enemy when you upgrade it but it does more percentage hp when you upgrade it so i feel like with this ability it all or i'm just blind maybe i'm blind but basically if you hit multiple balls in their faces they're gonna be reduced they're gonna be doing reduced damage still additional damage right so the ultimate um up to four nearby balls so how do you get nearby balls boom this is a ball 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 boom and this is not a ball because you can only have seven and you can actually see exactly how many you have right here this number is always going to be three so three it's not going to go below three because obviously around you you have three balls but whenever you put down balls when you're fighting like this boom 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 you know boom and all of this um this one doesn't by the way this one just throws one ball around as you can see unless you spawn it right on top but basically seven balls you can have seven balls maximum and it's going to do maximum damage so what does the ability do let's take a look first with three balls just so you can see how it works boom 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 you see it throws all the balls in their faces the first ball does maximum damage the next balls do reduce damage um does it say it in the ability that it does reduce damage wait it doesn't this one also doesn't oh they don't do reduce damage it was my ludens echo so this this is actually ridiculous because it doesn't do reduce damage which means which means guys when you have seven balls on the ground oh my god oh my god seven balls on the ground is seven full damages on the ground take a look at that it doesn't even matter where the balls are you're going to be recalling all the seven balls right to you put all of the seven balls on yourself and shove all of them into their faces so the way this ability is going to work right like you're going to use your abilities mainly your first ability to spawn some balls boom boom and then you're going to be ulting boom 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 it's going to do ridiculous damage so what happens if you evolve this ability first of all the range gets increased so take a look just by a tad bit but it is an increase so like i can use it from here now so the range gets increased secondly now your ability i'm reading right here this ability executes enemies below 10 percent health now this is pretty crazy something else you need to know as well by the way it cannot get body blocked this ability so like if, if i hit one enemy even though the balls go through one through and through another enemy they cannot get body blocked as you can see so just a small thing to note but yes, we were reading it. Um, enemies below 10% health are going to get executed. If this ability kills an enemy champion, this is all the, the evolve, by the way, the balls will detonate where they were killed and deal a certain amount of magic damage, which is going to be the same as the one that you're doing to the enemy, and explode on the enemies. So if I throw... So let me tell you what happens. If I, I cannot show it exactly on the dummy. But if I throw seven balls right here, I'm actually going to turn on the bot if if i kill this dummy with the seven balls all of them are going to explode here and do bonus damage to all of the dummies around it i'm actually going to showcase that example on this garen um, i'm just going to make him walk here and stop just so we can actually see how it works um, let's put the dummies here so boom okay i'm going to kill the garen take a look I guess that's it <laughs> i guess it just detonates once i thought it would like all of them would detonate and do multiple instances of damage but they simply just detonate once and just do some damage to the dummies that's all they do it's really not as spectacular as you may think then so you're not going to be able to one shot everyone unfortunately um and yeah that's it so now let's talk about some combos with this champion right i don't want to overwhelm you too much but i'm going to talk about the combos um so First things first, when you're level, I'm going to put the cooldown, well, it needs to, yeah, I'm just going to take off the zero so you can see this is actually legit. Um, I'm going to talk about combos without the evolve first, which is going to be, you know, the only difference is you're not going to have two balls on your first ability. A very basic, obvious combo is first ability, second ability. When you're laning, when you're level two, you can already do this combo. You can kind of hit the enemy and boom, 
just like that. You can even hit your second ability before your before your first ability even lands. So take a look. I'm just gonna wait for the boss to go away. Um, you can do it like that. That way, like the enemy are is not gonna be able to. It's gonna do damage in one go, but I don't recommend it. You kind of want to wait a little bit, but you have to find. You know what it is. You don't have to hit it after the ball lands. You can hit it like right before. Like look, it's it, the timing is a little bit hard on this one. So I'm just gonna try it again. Yeah, like the moment the ball comes, the moment the ball comes back. So not like that. Okay. So um, it it is actually. It has to hit first, and then you can use it. So all my fancy talk was not true. It seemed like there was another ball that, that got caught within it. So that's what it was, yeah. So you do have to wait for it to land, and then you can just pew, use your second ability on top of the enemy to instantly do like a whole lot of damage early on in the game. And now let's make this combo a little bit bigger with your third ability as well. You know, you hit an enemy, boom, boom, and then third ability as well. You can incorporate basic attacks in between. It's going to do a lot of damage early game. So like basic attack, second ability, basic, um, first ability, second ability, basic attack, third ability. This is early game, late game, first ability, second ability, third ability. You just want to use your first ability, second ability, and push those two balls into the enemy's faces. Now let me tell you about some sort of an ultimate combo, right? Like this one is, this one is crazy. You can use your ultimate in two ways, right? Um... You can either use your first ability, second ability, and then another first ability, and then sort of have five of them ready, and just, you know, ult. Something else um, Something else to note as well, when you push your balls, you actually reset the duration. So take a look, boom. So this, like, this is actually quite an important thing to note as well. You're literally resetting the duration of your balls. So why this is important is your third ability has a 10 second cooldown late game that is quite long, but you can actually utilize this. You know, you can use your first ability, second ability, first ability, wait, the balls will despawn after five seconds, use your third ability, use another first ability, and then another one, and then you have seven balls to use for your ultimate. Otherwise, you're never going to be getting the seven balls. Like if I put my cooldown not on zero, you're never gonna get seven balls. Like, boom, boom, boom. How am I supposed to get seven balls? Like, look. I can, like, barely get it. Actually, I can, bar I, I can barely get it. But that's with all the cooldown reduction. To get it a little bit more easily, and obviously, first ability, second ability. First ability, you can push the balls into their faces. First ability, second ability, first ability. More than enough time, and then use your ultimate. Now, after you use your ultimate, Yes, you can use your third ability to push all of the balls of your ultimate into the enemy. This can pretty much guarantee a hit on every enemy. So take a look at this. You can use all of your balls on an enemy. Use your third ability like this and then push all of these balls into the enemy to do a lot of damage just like that. Keep all of the balls. It doesn't really matter to keep all the balls here though. But you can just push them right into their faces. So that's something very important to know that you can actually reset that duration. You can even, like if an enemy if an enemy is very low HP, you can even initiate with your ultimate, push the balls into them, stun the, the enemy, and then while they're stunned, first ability, second ability. So the combo would go like this. You see, he's stunned. He cannot do anything. So if you're coming out of vision, he doesn't have vision on me. Ultimate, third ability, first ability, um, second ability. And you can actually do this really fast. So I'm going to see how fast you can actually do it. So when I do this, that doesn't work. So you have to wait until it lands. Like until your ultimate lands. So let's take a look. Your ultimate lands. Third ability, first ability, second ability. They cannot really do anything about that. Something else to note, by the way. You cannot push enemies over a wall. But... Pretty sure you should be able to, yeah, you can push balls over the wall. A lot of a lot of small things to notice, right? And now the question arises. Do your balls give vision? So let's take a look at that. I'm going to turn on Fog of War. They do not. They do not. Very interesting. So your balls do not give you vision. Your second ability, however, your second ability gives you vision. Yet again. It doesn't say it in the ability, and it actually makes me quite mad that it doesn't. It doesn't. 
You see what I mean? So like it's up to me to figure out these types of things for you guys. Like look, you can use it to get vision, but you have to actually use it right on top of the Baron. It, the, the vision circle is very minimal. It's like Corky's first ability basically. So you can use this for example. I have a wart right here. Um, I wanted to give you the example that I can get this vision plant. I'm going to use it on the other side of the map just to show you that it works. So, for example, you're playing Syndra. You want to proc this vision plant. Second ability and proc the vision plant. You see? It's these small little details that can perhaps help you in a game. Um, and you can do it. You can just do it. It's funny because if I do this... I'm going to see if that gives me vision. Wait. Okay, so that gives you vision. So basically, wherever you use your second ability, you're going to be getting vision. So that's important to know. And you can do a lot of crazy combos, but always start with first ability. You never want to start with second ability like this. It's just a waste of damage, basically. Um, it's pretty much a waste of damage. So you want to start with your first ability, second ability, and then you can decide, do I want a third ability or not? You can also just first ability, second ability, ult. And then follow that right back up with your third ability. This one is a bit different too. So if you want to stun everyone, you use your first ability, second ability, ult. I know it's not a maximum damage ult, but then you can just push the balls into everyone. And when you have all of these balls, you know, instead of pushing one or two or three balls into them, if you push five, six, seven, of course, you're going to be guaranteeing a whole lot more stuns and a whole lot more damage on the enemy team. Now, I don't want to confuse you too much. These are basically the main combos that I talked about right there. I gave you the main advice as well on this champion. Let us talk about how to build this champion. Uh, it's going to be quite interesting, actually. One item you're not going to go is the Archangel Staff because of the passive, right? You don't want to be going for Archangel Staff. You don't need mana. Like, you don't need mana at all. The only thing, the only mana thing you're going to get is the mana boots. And the reason that you're getting mana boots is not even for the mana. It's mainly for the... 55 ability power and 8 magic penetration um, after that you should never have mana trouble anymore Ludens Echo is going to be your first item and right here Rabadon's Death Cap is what I chose you can actually also go for the Infinity Orb or even um, Crown of the Shattered Queen or potentially I, I was thinking about this item even an Awakened Soul Stealer like I'm thinking about a build like this where if you're against very squishy enemies you can go Boots of Mana Ludens Echo Awakened Soul Stealer Infinity Orb Perhaps even a Majay Soul Stealer, right? Go Majay Soul Stealer right here. And then this would be your build. This is an extremely risky build though. Like only if you're snowballing the game, get the Majays after your boots and then just rush these items and absolutely destroy the enemy. But for a safer game, you can go for this. Um, yeah, never go Archangel Staff. Of course, the Green Book, if you want to get the Green Book. Perhaps a Rylai Scepter when you're playing Support Syndra. You know, Support Syndra, you can go Rylai Scepter, Leandris. Although I don't really recommend support Syndra, but if you want to do it for some weird reason. Stasis Enchant is very, very good. Uh, for the runes, first rune, you can either go Electrocute or First Strike. Both are going to be good. Uh, both are going to be providing different things. Electrocute has a little bit more early game damage. Obviously, First Strike gives you more, more um, gold. But Electrocute gives you more damage. Right here, you can go for the Precision Tree. Um, you can go for Gathering Storm, Giant Slayer, Legend Bloodline, or even a Cup of Grass. Or you can go for the Domination Tree. If you want to bully the enemy in lane, you can get a Scorch. And I'll write here, the game recommends Mark of the Week. And actually for Syndra, I recommend it too. It's one of the only champions I recommend it. And the reason is because you use your first ability, then you use your second ability, you know, that which is the big damage part. So Mark of the Week will boost your second ability by even more damage. And then your ult and your third ability. So on Syndra, I do actually recommend the Mark of the Week. And then here you would go Eyeball Collector. My eyes would be more on this one, the, domina the Domination Tree, rather than the Precision Tree. Precision Tree is a little bit safer, but having a Scorch, Mark of the, Mark of the Week and Eyeball Collector skill into the late game as well. That's the thing. And Scorch is just going to let you bully enemies like crazy early game. Here we want to go Transcendence. We have pretty much infinite mana anyways. We just want to get cooldown reduction. And for the spells, you go for Ignite and Flash. So that's going to be it for the video. Uh, I tried to keep it under 30 minutes. Let me know your thoughts on Syndra. Also, put down a comment, enter the giveaway. But yes, thank you so much for watching. I will see you all in the next Wild Rift video. Bye-bye.